Hey guys, I just wanted to give you a really quick little product review. I plan to do these frequently or whenever I try new things. And today's review is on this Project Life Fuse tool. It retails at $29.99. However, keep in mind that you can use coupons. They always have a 40% off coupon. And today they had an additional 25% off. So in a moment you will see me using it for the first time so you can kind of see what my first impressions are. Um, and I'll just jump to the cut and tell you guys that I really, really like it. I don't have anything to compare it to, but it was super, super easy. And sometimes, you know, I have that user error thing going on, but it was really, really easy. I like how it turned out for the first little shaker that I made, and there's a lot that you can do with these fuse tools. And if you're looking for things, you can go on Pinterest, but um, maybe in the future I'll do a video on some ideas that you can use your fuse tool for. And if anyone does want a, like a more in-depth tutorial on how to make these shaker cards, I would be more than happy to do that, but just keep in mind I am a beginner. So yeah, um, anyways, let me know if you guys like these quick little product reviews. They're easy for me, and hopefully they help you guys out. So yeah, let's just jump into the little first impression. Okay guys, so this is my first time using the Project Life Fuse. I have it right here heated up. I've never used a fuse before, so I don't have anything to compare it to, but I'm gonna give it a try. I have um, this photo page protector here. The ruler comes with it, um, and then this also comes with another tip that you can cut plastic with. So basically I'm just gonna try to make a little shaker. Um, I just watercolored some watercolor paper here. I stamped and embossed this little tickled pink. And then on the outside of the shaker I'm gonna put this little pink flamingo. I got a little crazy with the embossing powder and got way too much so it wasn't picking up color, but that's okay. Just, just wanted to try it out. So you just heat up your gun for, or not gun, heat up your thing here for 10 minutes and then go to town. So far that looks really good. I'm definitely going to have to practice getting it straight, but you know. So we'll do this side and then I'm gonna cut around it and we'll fill it. This is a very, very easy. I was nervous that it wasn't going to be as easy as it should be. A little sequins here. I'm gonna pop these in. You can get different tips for this, I heard too. So, um, if you want different designs, that would be kind of fun. All right, guys, there we go. Um, I definitely know for next time not to put um, words on the inside. It looks kind of silly. But other than that, this is gonna be a really fun tool to play with. You can do a ton of things on it. If you go on Pinterest, there's a ton of ideas. So yeah, that was really, really easy. And just right off the bat, I totally recommend this. And get it from Michael's or Joann's because you can always get their 40 or 50% off coupons. Today, I, they had an additional 25% off coupon that the cashier gave me. So just be sure to get it somewhere where you can use a coupon so you don't have to pay full price. All right, bye. In case you guys are wondering what I use for the background, I just used some watercolor paper I used to color the flamingo. I used these Artist Loft watercolor markers and then I used the Distressed Inks um, for the background of it. And I just used some embossing powder and some Memento black ink for the stamping. And for stamp set and die, I use this Recollections Valentine Day um, little flamingo that's upside down there from Michaels. Okay guys, that concludes today's quick review. Again, let me know if you liked it. Give me a thumbs up if you did so I know to make more of these. And I really hope that you guys will subscribe if you're not. And thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you later, bye.